is this? I think it's a ship. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of R2-D2, kind of. Mm -hmm. Like the colors, the white and the gray and like a navy blue. Mm -hmm. And squares, like windows maybe. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this ship. It feels metal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or like a hard metal type. Um, I feel like I'm only seeing half of it though. That's why I'm... Mm -hmm. I'll focus on the half that you can see. And later the rest will come into focus. It's... Like, it's disc shaped, mm -hmm. but I can only see like a cut out portion of it. Mm -hmm. And in this disc shaped ship, do you have a body there? Yes. Take a look at your body. I feel orange mm -hmm. and fleshy. Do you look like? Allow the images to come. I feel almost like kind of like an octopus head, mm -hmm. orange, like rubbery, fleshy, um, but I feel like I don't have eight arms and legs. Mm -hmm. I feel more like one, just one. I don't even know if I have arms. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see. Yes, I have arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do they look like? I feel like, um, Very tall and skinny with skinny arms. They're orange and they're squishy and... They remind me of... It reminds me of like a toy that I had when I was a kid that I got out of a cereal box. Mm -hmm. You'd throw it against the wall. Those creepy crawler things. Mm -hmm. um, what but, about your feet? Look down. What do they look like? I feel like I'm just on one leg, mm. but I'm able to balance and okay. I feel like I would be able to move. Mm -hmm. Are you able to reach out with hands? Do you have hands? I'm just on more tentacle-like than having hands. Okay, very good. And do you feel that you have a gender there? No. No. So let's find out what it is that you're doing on this ship. Now that you know what you look like, what's your role on the ship? I'm at a, a board, like a dashboard. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I may be able to see out over sp out over the spans of space mm -hmm. through a window. It's like I guess I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody with you? Look around you. Yes, but I don't feel like they're like me. Okay. I feel like everybody's kind of different. Mm -hmm. Well, where do you imagine that you're going to? Andromeda? Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's an Andromeda for you. I'd like for you to fast forward and be at your destination. What comes to mind? I'm 
It's very bare. Mm -hmm. um, Describe it for me. But it does feel moist and like it doesn't feel dry and desolate. It feels like it would, has life maybe there. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing like more shades of like pink and mauve and like dark pinks there. Mm -hmm. Where do you see these colors? In the soil and the sky. Mm -hmm. Do you see anybody there beside you? See if there's any life there. I can see the stars from here are amazing. They're huge. Mm. They're white. Describe the sky. Silvery and sparkly. Um, I feel like there's a sun. It's orange. Mm -hmm. Very warm warm colors there. Mm -hmm. What else do you notice? The land the land is kind of squishy. Mm-hmm. Let's see what it is that you're doing there. What is the reason that you have been directed to go to this place? It's a mission. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this mission. The gathering. There's something in the, the ground or the soil. Mm-hmm. But it's not really soil. I feel like it's kind of like how I am. Mm -hmm. um, A little squishy? Squishy. So how do you gather these samples? I have a box with little apparatus in it that It's kind of high tech, but it's kind of simple at the same time. Mm -hmm. So let's see yourself gathering what you came here to do. I don't even really have to gather it. it just I just point my devices in that direction. Mm -hmm. And let's see what it is that you're it's gathering. It's like a wand. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're gathering? I feel like it's energy, but it feels like microbial life, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you gather this, where does it go? It's stored upon the ship. Mm -hmm. Are you the only one doing this mission? I'm the only one gathering, but there, there are others with me mm -hmm. on the ship. They're on the ship. So what is the purpose of gathering all of this microbial life, this energy? What do you do with it? Mm. I feel like we're using it to make beings or using it to create life. Mm -hmm. or, I'm just, I s s hear the word DNA. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's follow that trail. And let's find out what it is that you do with that. I'd like for you now to close that scene and go to the next scene that allows you to know why you've gathered this. Be there now. So on the ship, all of this, it's almost like a liquid. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's liquid from, like, that we've added to it or if it came from that planet. Mm -hmm. But it goes into, like, um, 
I can't say a machine. It's like a... It's really large. And it almost... It moves like... Like the right side goes up into the right and then the left side, it moves up to the left. It's mm -hmm. like... Almost like... What's the word? Um, like tor toroidal mm -hmm. movement? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's weird and it's pink and then in the middle is more like a... It's like blue energy in, in, in the middle. Mm -hmm. It seems more electric than then like it's not really a sample there. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at this so-called machine, is there anybody else with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a look at these others and tell me who they are. What do they look they like? They seem like sea creatures too. Like mm -hmm. like we're we're not all the same color and we're not all the same type, but we're we're smooth and squishy and like it's there's it's it's not necessarily humanoid form mm -hmm. it's I mean we're tall mm -hmm. not super tall but we're tall and thin and It's not... I almost want to say we have, like, one eye. Mm -hmm. It's not like we have the nose and the mouth and the lips and the mm -hmm. ears and all of that. It's kind of... it's bizarre. Mm -hmm. But this one being... maybe it's just me and this other one. What is the other I'm one? I'm seeing it as... blue. Mm -hmm. Like, royal blue. And almost he... I guess it's a he. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I get kind of a male energy off of him. Um, he almost reminds me of a SpongeBob character. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It. He's blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he has brown to him too. What is his role? What does he do? He seems more like a technician or like a mechanic or like he takes care of the ship more than what I'm doing, which is more like gathering and, um, I don't know. He seem he seems more like, like a maintenance mm -hmm. type. And do you have some sort of a administrative role or scientific role or perhaps a management role? What is it that you do on that ship? I, guess I saw that you were driving it or flying it. I feel like I'm more of a scientist. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. So now let's close this scene and let's find out what it is that you do with this life form that you've gathered. Allow yourself to be there now. What's happening now? I feel like that's how we might procreate. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. I feel like we use we use samples and the microbes and that energy and mesh it with our own mm -hmm. in order to be able to procreate. Mm -hmm. I'm not... I'm still on the ship though. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about where you are. It's 
kind of dark mm -hmm. in here. And besides um, that machine or apparatus or whatever it is that creates, mm -hmm. um, like the walls are dark, but you can you can tell there's stuff on the walls, like buttons mm -hmm. and gadget and gadgets and stuff. But I. I don't know that they're in use, maybe. Maybe they're not in use. Mm -hmm. Good. So I'd like for you to go to a part of the ship that is interesting. What do you see? There's a large window in the back. I mm -hmm. guess it's the back. It might be the front. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like a... It's really large. It's almost like the entire... Like one of the walls of the ship. Mm -hmm. It's like an observatory or something. What do you see from that wall? Just the galaxies and the stars. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to soak it in. Look out that window. It's no big deal, though. It's just... That's... Where you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not overwhelming. It's not... It doesn't provoke anxiety. Mm -hmm. It's... It just is. Good. Good. So let's now close this scene and go to another moment in that lifetime that impacted you. Be there now. Where are you? <laughs> I really think that that's how we create. I feel like I created a little, a little being. It, mm -hmm. It's a little me, but it's not orange and it's not blue like the mechanic. It's, it's like pastel color. Mm -hmm. What is the consistency it's of the body? It's the same. It's like, like an amoeba or something. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I don't think that, I don't think it's quite physical yet, maybe. Mm. Where do you see it? It's on a table. I, th I think it came out of the machine. <laughs> it sounds mm -hmm. so weird. Mm -hmm. It's like a amoeba baby maker. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have some sort of consciousness because you're able to communicate with me and do things. How do you create consciousness or put consciousness in this new creation? I think that's what the electric light mm -hmm. um, is. I don't know that I am, well, I guess I would be part of creating this. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yes, I think the that electricity that's in the apparatus mm -hmm. is what gives it consciousness. Good. So I'd like for you to check in with your feelings and tell me how it feels to have created this life. It's so innocent. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm... like. It's not amazing. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It's it's just how we create. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see how long it takes for this little cute creation to grow. What do you witness? It's exactly that. It's just a, a cute little creation. Uh -huh. um, but now it's more 3D. It's more like dimensional. Mm -hmm. um, it's still like... <laughs> it's 
so hard to describe. It's so weird. Um, okay. <clears throat> it's really small, but it is like the size of a football or something. Maybe, maybe smaller than that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Relational. I don't know how to relate it to anything right now. But it's more pudgy than I am. Mm -hmm. And it's... I'm just, I'm seeing like light orange and yellow, mm -hmm. pastel type colors. Do you have any type of bond with this creation? Yes. Mm -hmm. It, like I said, it just, it feels more, it's just cute. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm amazed that I created this thing or I'm not in some wonderment about it, you know? It's mm -hmm. just a, a very cute thing. Very good. All right, so let's close this scene now. Allow yourself to close completely and let's go to another part of that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? I see fighter ships in the sky. Mm -hmm. Check in with your emotions and tell me what's happening. It feels threatening. Mm -hmm. They're... They feel almost military-like. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I don't know, but I just saw a mantis looking type person or thing mm -hmm. and we're not in the ship anymore. We're on a planet. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this experience. I'm not seeing a lot of things though, but... So switch it to feeling. Switch it to the part where you feel things and know. I don't know if it's me or if it's another being, but it's like a praying mantis. Mm -hmm. It's very insect-like, mm -hmm. like a um, weird eyes and... Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to tell me how it feels. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So what's happening? You say you're on a planet? What is this planet? I feel like I'm back on Andromeda. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's like... It's, it's got that, those pink hues again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And the squishy soil, but... Maybe it's me. Take a look. Take a look at your hands. Yes, it's me. Mm -hmm. I don't like being like this. Mm -hmm. I feel so gross. I don't want you to use any judgment. I just want you to state the facts. I'm not nice. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. I just have evil intentions. It's not nice. I don't... What is it that you're doing there on this planet? I just... I almost feel like a hunter or like... What are you hunting for? Go with your gut and tell me what souls. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with these souls? Imprison them. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? 
for my own mm-hmm. for my own <sighs> what do you do with them when they become yours it's energetic it isn't it isn't like i'm taking people or things or mm-hmm. anything it's more like i'm i don't I can't be the only one. Let's find out what you do with these souls. What do you do with them? I recycle them. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. How do you recycle a soul? I must put it in that machine. Mm-hmm. How could it be so cute, but then not... I don't understand. So I'm going to touch your forehead, and when I do, all of this will be cleared up. You will understand everything that's happening. Allow all the knowledge to come through clearly. Just know the answers. No judgment. Just information flowing. What is your purpose? I gather souls. Mm-hmm. I'm a soul slinger. It's almost like black market. Mm-hmm. I don't. How do you find these souls? I feel like... I feel like... they're lost, maybe. Mm-hmm. They, it just it feels like they're almost just floating around. They don't really have... Maybe they don't have direction. They don't have... Mm-hmm. And what do you do with the souls? It's so easy. Mm-hmm. Tell me. I take them. I take them. And what's left of them? Nothing. Mm -hmm. So tell me where it is that you're targeting these souls. Where have you gone to get these souls? I feel like they're just they just kind of hover around, but they're in maybe a different, the same dimension that I'm in, mm-hmm. which is four. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that might be a lost soul dimension. Mm-hmm. But I use them for negative. Reasons. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What does that do for you? It sustains me. Mm-hmm. They're like your food, your souls? Yes. And what vibration? is feeding you. It's negative. I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't know. So what happens if one of these souls is of high vibration? 
What does it do to you? I'm not able to access that. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about your own life as this mantis, and let's see how it is connected to the lifetime of Tiffany. Be there now. What is the connection? I feel like it's connected like around the planet, mm -hmm. like a braid. Mm -hmm. Describe this braid for me. It's me, but there's, it's all one, but there's more of me. Mm -hmm. And we're all braided around the planet. Mm -hmm. And as you're braided around the planet, what do you do to the planet? We suck the energy out of it. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Tell me what happens as you suck the energy. It's just, it's a tug of war. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to look around the planet and tell me who it is that you're playing tug of war with. What is this tug of war? Identify it. What's keeping you from taking over the whole planet? I see men in business suits. I don't know how that correlates, but Mm -hmm. Or if that's who they're tug of warring with, or we're tug of warring with, or mm -hmm. whoever. Uh, All right. So I'd like for you to now hone in on those men in business suits. I'd like for you to just focus in. Imagine a magnifying glass focusing in on those men with the suits. And let's find out who they are connected with this mantis. Who are they? What is their business? Politics. Mm -hmm. What do they have to do with the mantis? I feel like everybody is just feeding off of everybody. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I'm not even, I don't even feel like I'm a part of that anymore. I'm, mm -hmm. It's like I'm looking in mm -hmm. from away from the planet mm -hmm. and seeing these braided mantis beings and these politicians. It's almost like, it's like the politicians feed off of the people in the planet and then it, the mantis feed off those be politicians and it's like a, it's a food chain, isn't yes. it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Energetic food chain? Yes. Yes. So as the mantis, they said there was some sort of tug of war. Let's find out what is the tug of war. Focus in on the other, the opposite side. Where is the resistance? There's... Um <clears throat> there's a barrier they can't they can't infiltrate I guess mm -hmm. it's like I it's like they're a web around the planet because mm -hmm. they can't get into the planet they okay. can only go so far mm -hmm. 
and the planet is just glowing. Mm -hmm. The what, planet's fine. So what is this web? What's created this web? Go even deeper to find out. What does this web look like? It's, it's like, it's like an insectoid web. It's, mm. um, it's just, it's not like a web that comes out of an insect. It's like mm -hmm. a web made out of insects. Mm -hmm. They're huge. And they're, when I say braided, it's like they're intertwined together. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like, um, like power in numbers. Mm -hmm. And these, this web is used for what? What do you see the purpose of this web? Maybe it's to catch the souls. Mm -hmm. Take a look carefully. I'd like for you to hone in even deeper and let's find out how those souls are caught in this web. Oh. What do you see? Describe it. So me. sad. It's just. What do you see? Everything. Everything is all. Um, uh, it's not even just energetic. It's like the food and the toxins and the oil and the pharmaceuticals. It's all just like. It's like an ooze. It's like an energetic ooze. It's so gross. And what does this energetic ooze do to these souls? It entraps them. Mm -hmm. oh, just, oh my god. Tell me more. Describe what it is that you're feeling and seeing. It's like... It's like... The, oh, it's like... It's like fear and like even the physical matter from the poor animals that are tortured and the people who are tortured and just, it's almost like a physical energetic. It's almost like a being of its own. Mm -hmm. A being has been created from all of this unnatural things. Yes. Mm -hmm. So being that this web has been created, there's always an antidote, something that can break through this web. Let's find out what that is. What is the weak spot? Look for a weak spot. Empowerment. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Love, light. Saying no. Saying no to what? To all the lies and the, the the rules, the regulations, the the laws, the the signs, the everything is just That's it's too much. Mm -hmm. Just We have to rise above it. Mm -hmm. so and the earth is so bold and bright on the other side. I mean, on the other side of that web. Mm -hmm. Is there any place in the web that you see that isn't trapping souls? Take a look. I feel like there is. I feel like there's... find that place and hone in on it. I feel like there is a space and that's where the light is. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking sunlight. Mm -hmm. It's almost like half of the world 
is under it and then the other half isn't. Let's see which part of the world is in darkness. So I'm feeling like as we spin, we go in and out of it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's always there, obviously. Yes. The light and the dark. Mm -hmm. What does the sun have to do with this web? Take a look and see if there's anything that the sun does. It must... I mean, I don't see the web where I see the sun. Mm -hmm. So, so it must be able to burn through it, or the energy of it must be able to... It's like... It's like one side, the dark side, is all ooey-gooey, mm -hmm. netted, braided, insectoid, crazy, <laughs> juicy, disgusting side. And then there's the sun side where it's all bright and strong mm -hmm. and resilient. And there's just no way that that's getting through. Tell me about these oversouls. She wanted an explanation of the hierarchy. What do you see? The angelic realm is above the oversoul. Mm -hmm. um, the ascended masters are below or equal, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? There are 90 oversouls. Mm -hmm. Each fragmented into pieces. Tell me more. Into lives here on this planet and other places as well. For the maximum benefit and learning for the Oversoul. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell her about that? She's questioning the name. The Goddess Hera. Hera is our oversoul. Mm -hmm. So can you please tell her the significance of the Zeus-Hera relationship? It is the divine feminine and masculine. Mm -hmm. It is almost the, the dark and the light. Mm -hmm. They play off of each other. Tell me more about that. If there are 90 oversouls, and Hera is one of them. Is Zeus her partner? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, are there 90 total or 45 pairs? 
How does that work? Do they all have to have a divine, feminine, and masculine? you see the Hera and the Zeus they're not one mm -hmm. they are connected mm -hmm. but the Hera has connections with other over souls and the Zeus has connections with other over souls as well okay it does seem that the Hera and the Zeus are the most intertwined mm -hmm. Um, and each one, do they have, are they fragmented, each one of these over souls? Yes. Mm -hmm. So can we ever meet someone else from our group, over soul group? A Hera can meet another Hera. Mm -hmm. A Hera can meet a Zeus. Mm -hmm. Both Hera and Zeus are oversouls. You can meet, yes, you can meet oversouls. You can meet other oversouls mm -hmm. in your life. But it seems as if certain ones will be most dominant. Okay. So, what oversouls is she working with? Is Tiffany working with? Is it just Zeus and Hera? No. No. She's working with others? Yes. Okay, good. Now, I'd like for you to tell me a little bit about the lights of the round table. Do they have anything to do with these oversouls? Who are the lights of the round table? They're her guides. Mm -hmm. Do they have names? Can they be identified? What do you get from that? I get that they are spirit guides, but I don't get particular names. Okay. They're just energy. Do they, what kind of roles do they play in her life? What are they working with her now predominantly? They help her in her dreams. Mm -hmm. um, they help. They definitely help keep her on her path. Okay. Good. Is she on her path? Yes. Very good. Now, talking about dreams, she wants to know what those visions are, those movie like scenes that she sees in between being awake and being asleep. She can't make sense out of them.
they are flashes mm -hmm. from other beings, mm -hmm. other oversouls, other parts of her oversoul. Okay. Are they telling her anything? It's like dropping into somebody else's consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a kind of like a down, not a download, but as she's getting ready to reset for the evening, it's almost like a quick flash of everything at once, okay. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like a quick uh, upload or download all at once. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And she tells me that there is a violet energy that her soul is associated with. What is this violet energy? It is the Divine Feminine. Okay. It is love. Mm -hmm. Good. And she saw a blue light being once during an out-of-body experience. Who was that? That was her oversoul. Her oversoul. Very good. Hera. Yes. Very good. Now she wants to talk about where she's living. Is she supposed to be there or somewhere else? At this point in time, she is to be there. Mm -hmm. Why is she needed in that area? She still has work to do there. Okay. With her job and with her family. Mm -hmm. Well, she seems to have moved a lot in her life. Why so many different jobs, relationships, homes? She feels like she's a catalyst and then she moves on. What is she doing in those places? Exactly that. Mm. She is there to teach others. Mm -hmm. She knows it. She lets anxiety and, and all these other things, her ego, whatever, get in the way. Mm -hmm. Now her ego is also telling her that she seems to have financial issues. Why is that? <clears throat> Why is it that she cannot pay off the things that she needs to pay off when money comes in? It disappears. It's the same as what we were speaking of before. Mm -hmm. It comes in and it comes out. It's there. Mm -hmm. It's there when she needs it. So does she need to worry about her finances? No. Okay. Does she, is she manifesting this money when she needs it? We are helping her. Okay, good. Can you help her a little more in financing the schooling that she's going through? Yes. Mm -hmm. Should she continue this school? Yes. What is she going to be using it for? She will be able to teach others how to balance themselves. Okay. And why is it that she put aside the Harris Stone designs? She's too much of a perfectionist mm -hmm. in her art. Um, she gets too obsessed about details instead of just letting go and and enjoying it. Mm -hmm. There are times obviously that she enjoys it, but then she gets stuck in presenting it mm -hmm. and how to present it and whether it should be presented. Um, she needs to just let it flow. Mm -hmm. Can I ask for a guide on her behalf to assist her with reminding her to let it flow and allow her to just enjoy doing the work? Yes. Good. What about the New Earth Nurse experience? Should she continue with that? That will be helpful when she finishes school mm -hmm. and to keep it going, yes. Okay. 
And what about hypnosis? Does she follow that path? Yes. Okay, good. Now, she has a question about, um, you know, her life, uh, where it's going. Would you like to help her with that? What should she be doing in the future? There's always little little things with her. It's, you know, some people have lives and, you know, they're, they're one thing all of their lives. Well, her life isn't like that. Mm -hmm. She gets more out of this life if she continues to dabble in everything mm -hmm. and bounce, yes. as she would say. Mm -hmm. It's almost like living many, many different lives inside of one. Getting a lot more accomplished. So it's almost like extra learning experiences. Mm -hmm. um, but as long as she's positive and staying on, on task and on the path, she's helping. Good. Good. Now, is, any, is there anything that you would like to tell her that we haven't asked at this time? Life truly is like a game, mm -hmm. and these oversouls are players. Mm -hmm. It's like a coach, mm -hmm. if you will. Yes. You're putting your players into the game, and you're trying to win, and trying to... Everybody is trying to enhance themselves mm -hmm. higher. And better but sometimes we get lost sometimes we get really caught up in the game mm -hmm. and it's really important for her to relax and to not let all of these negative things that are happening right now mm -hmm. on the planet affect her so deeply mm -hmm. The big picture is positive. Good. Now, we had an experience today during this session in which it seemed like there was a mini hurricane going on outside while we were having this session. Was this something that was planned for her? Yes. Can you tell her what that was all about? Braving the storm. Mm -hmm. So as the storm is outside, how does she need to be? Calm. Very good. And we learned that today. Thank you very much for that experience. Thank you. Is there anything else or are we complete? We are complete. Thank you very much. Five, wide awake now. Wide awake, feeling alert, conscious, and wonderful all over. Wow. So hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. How do you feel? Really relaxed mm -hmm. and weird. That was weird. You went through a lot of emotions there, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. There's a lot to digest. How long do you think this journey was? Everybody always says a half an hour, and I it really does it. feel like a half an hour. We're on an hour and 49 <gasps> minutes right now. Oh my god. Really? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. From the whole, like, since I laid down? Mm-hmm. Oh, my no, goodness. Since, since since I started the recording. Since you started wow. seeing stuff. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that amazing? That's crazy. Yeah. We really. A hurricane outside. I same. did hear that, but it was <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought that in the beginning. I was like, wow, hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a hurricane. I know. It was a thunderstorm, but still, we had a lot of slapping on the windows. Yeah. And, uh, wow, you went through a lot. Does it make sense? Um, Does your life make sense now? Seeing all the things that you saw? Yeah, not except for the mantis. The mantis really is tripping me out. Well, like, I don't had to like had to being see. a negative thing, you know? But, but we are always... I know. We have to experience the, the dark and the light. Yeah. That's Ooh. part of our balance. So you had to understand how they think. How else would you know how to work with them Mm -hmm. unless you knew what they like it's perfect yeah it was creepy Mm -hmm. oh yeah it was like a comic book i felt like a comic book mantis being i don't know even i don't even i don't even read comic books but Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. weird yeah so is this something that you want to keep personal you want to share some of it i'm not sure yeah you can let me know later yeah yeah because it was it was deep oh cool do you remember most of it? Um, I think so. I mean, mm-hmm. all I remember really are like, yeah, I don't know. Some of it, I'll have to go through it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>